there everybody, it's an unusual video this time around, I don't normally film things in the washroom of my house, but I needed somewhere big and waterproof that I could plug in this waterfall garden and test the plumbing, and uh, this is what I got. So here we are, let's give it a test. So here we have the bottom part of the waterfall garden, I don't have the lights attached for this test because it doesn't seem relevant. Gonna plug the cord into the wall here and we're just gonna test the pump and see how it's going to do all in all. Now you'll notice this is not the black hose that came with this waterfall garden. I had some issues putting that together so I ran into the greenhouse, put a few pieces together out of random stuff and uh, this is what I've got. So here we go, time to test it I guess. So I've got a jug here, uh, this fish tank only holds 1.25 gallons of water so might need more than this. Definitely need more than this. Convenient thing, being in a tub. That'll do good enough for now. Dig around here. Let's plug this in. Alright, so my rearranging the fittings on the pump doesn't seem to have been a problem. It's starting to drain out that one hole in the bottom and as was expected by one of my viewers the pebbles have started to float because they're not waterlogged. I'm going to need to be fishing those out a little bit later. But at least they're getting good and rinsed. I still need to rinse this whole thing out anyway before I set it up with anything. There you go, it does seem to reach to the bottom of the U shape here and then it kind of trickles down the front. I think the splash on the front of that is probably for me filling it up. I'm going to let this run for a little while. So after I dry that off, we're going to come back and check on it after it's been running for, I don't know, an hour, maybe two hours. And uh, just see if we have any moisture build up on the outside of this tank and what's going on in the tub here. So, right, stay tuned. Since all of those clay pebbles were kind of floating up and there's not quite enough in here anyway, what I've decided to do is I've got a whole bunch of old marbles kicking around. So they've got some good weight. I'm just going to put them in here and uh, plug this back in again. Marbles in a bathroom, does it get louder than that? But since it's acrylic... There goes that one. Since it's acrylic, it should look interesting through there anyway. Got some working their way up past the marbles there. I might just end up filling this whole thing with marbles or little decorative stones from the dollar store. You don't normally get a chance to, to see what's going on in the root area, so might as well make it decorative. Won't have quite as much surface area for the bacteria as the clay pellets will because they do have the tunnels and the little air pockets in them. But really, there's not going to be a lot of fish polluting this system, so you don't have to worry about having, you know, anywhere near the same kind of bacterial culture that you'd need for a large-scale aquaponics system. Drainage hole on the bottom seems to be working quite well. Definitely a steady trickle off the top here. One of the pieces that I found to make the plumbing work was uh, an adjuster from one of the original fountain pumps that we got. So I can slow this down a little bit if I'd like. Still got some of those clay pellets escaping. Alright, well the next thing I did was I brought in some mint clones that I had in the No Power Aquaponic Garden. So they're bound to see this as an upgrade. Just going to separate a few of these out. Try planting them in that pocket. 
Obviously, they can't stay there. But it'll give us an idea of how this is going to look when it's got some plants in there. Alright, so I managed to get a couple of those mint clones in there. And uh, here we can kind of see what it looks like. But I've got to say, as, as cute as I think this garden system is, one of the first design changes I might suggest would be shortening these side pockets here. Because getting, like I've got a kind of a fattish hand I guess, but it's really awkward for me to get my hand in there even this way and trying to work the roots. It was just quite difficult. So perhaps if it were uh, maybe a little bit shorter here because this isn't really needed for all the water level and there's two holes back here anyway. I guess another design change I might suggest making is to, to remove this lower hole. I don't know how well that's showing up but it's um, it's a potential issue I think. Otherwise, you know, it's a very cute it's a very cute little thing, like I keep saying. I'm gonna let this run for a while and uh, just kind of see what I think a little bit later. All right, well, thanks for checking out this initial setup of the waterfall garden and. Uh, after a few days of messing around with it, I'll get back to you and uh, let you know where it sits as far as installing it in my indoor garden. But I'm going to wrap up this video for now. If you have any comments, suggestions, or whatever, please, as always, feel free to let me know down below in the comment section. That's what it's for. And, uh, yeah, I'll be very curious to see just what comes of this project. And, like I said, my, my first design suggestion for that pocket would probably be to lower the unnecessary height of the plexiglass and maybe widen it a little bit so people with hands like mine can get in there a little easier to work the roots. But otherwise, it's looking like a fantastic starting point. All right, thanks everybody. Have yourselves a fantastic day.